Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today or pawn at my channel guys. Today my friends we're diving back into the Gears of War 5 tech test. Uh, the Cetas, I've been having a lot of fun with this beta. As you guys have seen some of the videos here on the channel, the Cetas, I'm back now to play even more of this game. I don't know if this is going to be my last video or not on it. I'm not sure if I want to try out ranked mode or not. But the Cetas, I just thought, do you know what? I'll make one more video and see how it goes. And if you want to see some more on this, then I can try give you guys more videos. If not, then we'll wait for the full release of Gears of War 5 to see more about this game. Um, the Cetas, there are two... Um, available betas that are going to be available for this like obviously there's this beta I'm playing now the tech test and I think the tech test has another date where you can play it as well in case you ha didn't get the time to play it during this time frame that I'm playing this current one if that makes sense um, so I don't know if things change in the second tech test then if they have like any new modes or more guns or something in it or more maps then Obviously, I'll jump back on it and give it another go. If not, then I might call this my final video. For us, I want to know your overall thoughts and opinions on what you think of Gears of War 5. Like, do you like it? Do you not? Do you like how it looks? Have you been playing it yourself? So, obviously, in case you're wondering how you play this, um, during the time of the tech test, how it works is that if you've got a Xbox Live Game Pass subscription, obviously, if you, you know, pay for your Xbox Live Game Pass and... Or if you've pre-ordered the game, then you'll be able to uh, get access to it. Someone's sneezing. You guys hear that then? <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, that's how it works. So if you've got access to the Game Pass, then you can download this for free. If you've got... Um, if you've got like a pre-order that you've put in for this game, then you should be able to play it. You can play it on PC and you can play it on Xbox, on Xbox One, so. Yes, please. Yeah, it's pretty good. I do uh, I do apologize as well if I'm not getting my words out right. I see this, I'm just trying to fully concentrate at the same time, guys, because it's like, <laughs> I try not mess up here. So, it's one of them little things which a lot of content, like, content creators tend to struggle with sometimes is commentating and recording at the same time. It's, uh, it's one of them things. That guy got absolutely demolished there. Fair play. <laughs> but yeah, you can play some really cool characters as well, I've noticed. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more characters you can play as when the full game comes out. Um, but... I'm really excited for the campaign. I want to play the campaign for Gears of War 5 because from the cinematics and stuff that they've shown, it looks amazing. You know what I mean? It generally looks really, really good. Well, personally, there's a few things I do think that the multiplayer, from what I'm seeing in the tech test, does need to work on. Is one, spawns. Because, as you saw there, I was in my spawn, I turned around, and I got absolutely butchered. You know what I mean? So, spawns need to be worked on. Um, some of the weapons feel not as powerful as others, so balance out the weapons a little bit. Um, probably, like, lower the recoil patterns as well, the weapons a little bit as well, because some of them are pretty jumpy. Unless, of course, you're going to implement a feature where you can get attachments for your weapons, which will be pretty cool. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty good. I generally like it. I think it is pretty good. And obviously, when it comes to knifing as well, sometimes the knife button doesn't like want to work. I don't know if it's just because of certain weapons that you can only knife when you're using or... Or what, but that's something I think needs to be addressed and fixed. Guy's got like a chainsaw gun. 
like the fires like big discs. What the hell is that weapon? <laughs> that weapon looked insane. I want that weapon. Is that only available for the sword, like the spawn? Is that like only an enemy weapon or something? Oh my days. I'm just getting ripped to shreds now, boys. <laughs> Ugh. Right, we're doing five and three at the moment, which isn't the best, but it is one of them things. We do have as good games, you have your bad games. Come on, pop your head up. It's got a disc gun again. Come on. Oh. Nice. Two, en two enemies here. Oh, three enemies. Alright, alright, alright. No, 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 I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Team. Alright, he's been taken down. Yeah, we're taking down. Feel a bit like, you know, a bit crafty because I'm stealing people's I'll kills, like, but it's easy kills, you know what I mean? Alright. Marksman rifle time, boys. Nice. That was pretty cool. I think it was a YouTuber. He was, yeah. D Bob's YT. He was a YouTuber. Nice. It's good when you see YouTubers and stuff. You know what I mean? Like playing games and being in beta. It's like I always tend to see it quite a lot. Like, I don't tend to put like YT or YouTube in my name. Every time you tend to see that sort of thing for me, it's like obviously like Call of Duty, I put it as like my emblem or my clan tag. Um, but in general, I just, if people notice I'm a YouTuber, it's probably because they've either looked in my description. Like on my, whatever profile I'm playing on, whether it's on my Xbox or my PlayStation or something. Or they've seen it like if I'm playing Call of Duty in my emblem or my clan tag. You know what I mean? But that's about it. I know a lot of people just put it in the name anyway. Oh look, it's amateur hour. Right. Just trying to think where. Wow, this gun's pretty jumpy. Oh, yeah. Come on, we could do this. So yeah, the recoil on some of these guns are like insane. Like they're all over the place. They need to be lowered down a little bit. So I feel like with the lance and stuff, I need to proper tap fire it. Because, unless of course the target is like medium to like short range engagements, then it's okay. But if it comes to long range, I need to tap fire it because it just doesn't like fully connect with the enemy. It just sprays everywhere. That's why I think an attachment feature would be pretty good in Gears of War games, where it's just a grip or something, or an extra magazine, or a different scope. I think it'd be nice, you know what I mean? Come on. Nice. Keep going. The 
victory is close. Try my best, okay? Try and go for that victory. Okay, that guy's disappeared. He's down, he's down, he's down. Get up. <laughs> this gun's insane. I love it. I like this marksman. I think one thing they should do as well when it comes to weapon upgraded weapons, uh, they should have a little bit more ammunition or have a way where you can earn ammunition if you kill, like kill enemies with them or something. Even if it's just a few rounds or something, I think it would be nice. Oh, oh, we're both down, we're both down. No, 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 no. No! Oh, come on, bro. Literally. <sighs> 13 and 6 right now. Not the best, but it's it's still positive, though. I'm doing, I'm still, I've got, like, a positive result, which is always good. <laughs> Has he been taken down completely, or...? Oh. Let's see, maybe just came around the corner and finished him off. Right. Uh... I've got enemies in there. Try to push around this corner. Oh no, 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 I'm definitely not pushing around there. Have you seen that thing that the guy's got? Ah! Come on, bro, come on. <laughs> I tried, okay, I did try. Ah. It's that disc guy though, it's just like boom 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 boom, I'm like no I need to run, but overall guys, we did end up like winning. You, it is a war that will be won. We won that round, which is good. This guy got 24 and 9. How, how can you be that good at this game? You know what I mean? That's the sort of results I get in Call of Duty, like in an average, but... Fair play to him, man. I got 13 and 7. Uh... To be fair, some of the results were okay in that game. Level 4 now within the beta. I'm going to keep playing this beta probably for the remainder of the day. Just see how, how far I get for the progression on it. Um, I see. To, I know that with the Tour of Duty um, inside the game that you got these in-game challenges. If you beat them, you can get some cool stuff for when Gears of War 5 comes out. So I'm probably going to put a lot of ground time into it, guys. But hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did... Give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Make sure to turn on the post notification icon to notify you will not let any new content in the nearby future. And if you've got any game suggestions or anything that you would like to see here on the channel, then let me know down below in the comment section. Anyways, have a great day. I'll see you again real soon.